Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, Candy out, hopefully returning tomorrow. My gut tells me Wednesday at the earliest. She, uh, over text, did not sound good, said she was ill, and uh, yeah, so we'll see. Knowing her, she needs at least two days to recuperate. Uh, we do have a beautiful day. Are we setting records? Maybe. Getting up to 75 and nothing but sunshine tomorrow, Election Day. Uh, going to still be nice, a lot of sunshine, but mid to upper 50s, same for Wednesday. So first three days of the week, all sunshine at about 75 today, and then uh, about 55 to 58 the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll take it. We will take it here in the second week of November. Uh, quick note, of course, we are about a week and a half from Matt Stell at Mulcahy's. Get your tickets, moles.com. M-U-L-S.com. Going to be great. It's got a bunch of hits. Can't wait for the show Wednesday the 16th, a week from this Wednesday. And, of course, our secret holiday show coming December 4th. Grab those tickets at moles.com. You don't know who performs till they hit the stage. That is Sunday, December 4 at Mulcahy's. We are uh, excited about that as well. Uh, before we get to National Days and some good news stories for you, um, we love a, a good, stupid criminal story every now and again. This one's pretty good. Um, and I guess the criminal, you know, you figure you can't get lost in the shuffle there at Disney World, right? And no one's going to recognize you. However, last year, a federal agent with the post office, Jeff Andre, signed a criminal complaint in New York. It was for a guy accused of identity theft. He stole $150,000 in COVID relief funds, and his name was Quashan Burton. So this federal agent, uh, Jeff Andre, is at uh, Disney World, I guess, with his family, and he notices a guy, and he sees, oh, there's a guy that looks just like the uh, one we want for identity theft. He's in Animal Kingdom, um, and he's like, huh, I wonder if it's him. Goes, like, near him, sees the distinctive neck tattoo with the letter H written in cursive on the side of his neck. And so Jeff, uh, the uh, agent, calls the cops. Disney security apparently tracked uh, Quashan through the park. He eventually left, but police caught up with him, waiting at a bus stop with two family members, and one of the cops wrestled him to the ground, and the guy would not admit who he was, and then they got him in jail, fingerprinted, and found out he was the uh, the correct guy. Incredible. Uh, walking around Disney World, I, I don't know that I'd wa my, walk around Disney World be able to spot a family member. I mean, it's so crowded and crazy. Who's paying attention? That's uh, that's pretty pretty incredible. Good job by the uh, federal agent. Uh, today, National Days. It this one is very specific. National Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day. It's not chocolate with almonds day. It is bittersweet chocolate with almonds. Enjoy. Uh, you know my story. Uh, this is my father and I. Uh, he would come over here and. Uh, bring a Hershey with almonds. He'd take half and then leave half for me. Yes. Um, so any chocolate with uh, almonds, I'm game for. Uh, yeah, milk chocolate, whatever, semi-sweet, bittersweet. National Canine Lymphoma Awareness Day. Yes, our beautiful dog friends and uh, some of the uh, diseases they they get. We lost uh, Roxy, our puggle, uh, to cancer uh, a number of years back in uh, tough, tough stuff. It's National Retinol Day. Retinol, yes, the aging skincare ingredient that uh, people go crazy for. Anti-aging ingredients and recommended by dermatologists. I'm sure you've seen commercials like, it's Dove skincare with retinol. You know, that kind of thing. A derivative of vitamin A and boosts the skin's renewal process. Happy Retinol Day. It is Color the World Orange Day. And that is for complex regional pain syndrome and reflex sympathetic dystrophy. That is, you're supposed to wear the uh, the orange today. It affects the uh, peripheral nervous system, the central and peripheral nervous system. And it's job action day. Not happy with your job? You're supposed to look around, see what else you can come up with, and new ideas on how to live your life and what kind of work you want to do. National job action day. 
All right, we always uh, end you off with some good news. A 20-year-old from Iowa, now officially the world's fastest clapper. (laughs) Come on. What are we doing here? His name is Dalton Meyer, and he's... He's been practicing since elementary school. I guess this is a thing. I'm, you know, I'm going to stop laughing. Maybe he makes a lot of money from it, winning the fast clapping competitions around the country. He's 20 years old. He's from Iowa. He's been practicing since elementary school. Guinness just verified he's the new record holder for most claps in a minute. Um, oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to laugh anymore. He can clap... 1,140 times in a minute. That's 19 claps per per second. I got, you know what? I'm going to watch some video of this. When we're done, I'm not laughing anymore. I want to go watch the video. This guy's got the world record. 1,140 claps per minute. 19 per second. Incredible. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry for laughing. A woman in Arizona named Mary Flip turned 101 last week. She has not lost her zest for life. She danced, drank beer at a party. When someone asked what the secret is, she said tequila. Hmm. Cue Dan and Shay. Uh, A guy in Canada uh, banged on one of his neighbor's doors at 4 a.m. last week, saved them from a fire. They were asleep, had no idea. Everyone made it out. Two kids, two parents, and a dog. Well done. And a 93-year-old lottery winner in Ontario, Canada. Doesn't have to worry about money any, anymore. Uh, a ticket he bought for a million bucks. He says he plans to share some of the money with his caregivers. That's very nice uh, to the 93-year-old lottery winner. Well done. Uh, we are rooting for a comeback uh, tomorrow from Candy. We'll see. Uh, the way she describes it, she's uh, quite ill. So we'll uh, see. My, my, uh, my prediction is Wednesday. Hopefully it doesn't uh, go further than that. Have a great day today. Gorgeous. I mean, we're tank top and shorts today. 75 and sunshine. Tomorrow we drop about 20 degrees. going to be sunny, but mid-50s. And, of course, tomorrow, Election Day as well. We'll uh, discuss that. Get out and vote. A lot of big races going on. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.